Hey everybody, so I'm back again. I have uh, my current favorites. I was going to do January favorites, but I kind of was behind, so I thought it was too far and too deep into February to do January favorites. So I'm going to be sharing with you my current favorites. First off, we're gonna be starting with makeup. So, I have... <sighs> first one I'm going to start with is Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. Now, I kind of talked about this in, I think it was my Sephora haul when I purchased, I purchased two more packs of these to have the little baby gloss balm in this, in the packages to give to my friends. But the whole reason why I bought those for them is because I bought the giant one for myself. And when I first got it, I thought, okay, it's, it's okay. It's an okay color. This has a giant applicator, as you can see. So you can slather it all over your lips. I have some gloss on right now, but I'm just going to slap it on. Like the, I'm going to do a close-up too. Here's a close-up. Um, because this doesn't do just justice. I mean, even over the top of what I already have on, it's magical. The only thing is that it doesn't last that long, I find. It smells amazing. Um, it just doesn't, which I don't care. I don't care if it doesn't last long. I'll keep slathering it all over my lips. But it is truly like an, a gloss for everybody. Everybody, every skin color can wear it. It is just a beautiful gloss. If you see it and it's in stock, just get it. I'm telling you. Next up is one of my items as well that I did in my Sephora haul. It's No Problem from um, Touch, Touch and Soul. It is a great, it's smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup. It really is a nice primer. I really am happy with it. It doesn't have that like silky feeling that other primers have. It's just a nice formula. It feels pretty creamy and it goes, it's kind of like a gel texture, um, but I really like it. I notice a huge difference when I use that and then when I use another one of my primers, that has, it's my favorite. That's why it's in current favorites. Next up is the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. This They also have the Superhero Mascara, which I really like. I think it's a really good mascara. This one, I'm always looking for new eyeliners to try. This one is the same principle. It's kind of similar to a lot of eyeliners now that have a very fine tip. It is a brush, but I mean, you can do very thick lines, very thin lines. It's a great eyeliner. It doesn't dry down completely matte. I would say it's probably the same um, consistency as Kat Von D's. Um, I find that it lasts a pretty long time and I think that the handle, how it is shaped, actually helps you put your eyeliner on easier in actuality and you would think that it would be completely cumbersome but it totally works. Love. Next up are three brushes I got from ColourPop. I think it was in a different haul. I didn't include it in my one giant haul video that I have, but I got three brushes from them. The first one is the small uh, shader brush. This can be probably a blending brush, but it's on the smallish side, as you can see. Um, I do like it. I even sometimes use this on for the eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye and just look up and blend it. Um, it's the ColourPop E1. That's the E1 brush. And then I also got the E2 brush, which you can tell it's a bigger blending brush um, than the smaller one. So there's those two compared to each other. It's a nice blending brush. And I mean, these are like $6 or some ridiculous price. Like that's a great brush. It's not, they're not too heavy. I like them. I think it's a perfect blending brush. I have no issues. They're my current favorite. And then oh, this brush. Okay, so I bought this brush to kind of blend in my concealer. Here's what it looks like. It's an E, no, sorry, it's an F5. 
Um, I got this to blend in my concealer under my eyes or to like put powder on under my eyes um, to go along with my Japanese brush that I love. But then I was watching a Kathleen Lights video and she said she uses this for highlighter. Talk about a game changer in putting on your highlight. It just picks up the complete right amount of product and just makes, you can see my highlight I used, my poor skin's like bleh. Um, you can see, I mean, that is this brush and a highlighter, and it totally puts it on beautifully. I think more than any brush that I have, fan brush, anything, this is a must. Next is my Kat Von D eyeshadow in uh, Raw Power. This color, oh my gosh, love this color. It is the most beautiful color. I've used this all over my eyelid and blended it out. I've used it with other eye looks with other berries and darker colors in it. It is just the most beautiful eyeshadow. I just want to lick it. It's so good. So if this is in stock. Sometimes if this color is out of stock, um, if it's in stock, get this because what a beautiful color. Okay, next up is skincare products. I have three skincare products okay so the first one is the murad time it's like bright in here time release acne cleanser this stuff i swear says it provides up to eight hours of continuous acne control balances hydration to diminish invisible signs of aging <laughs> yes it does so this one i've just been using it every day like in the morning in the shower formulated for adult prone acne prone skin it fights acne without over drying for a clearer more youthful complexion this stuff i swear my breakouts around ant flow visiting used to be crazy and then this one has helped it control this cleanser has helped control it so much i think that this is a magical product um it has 0.5 percent salicylic acid and I would have to say yes. Okay, next up is, if you didn't know, I sell new skin products and it's a company that's been around for like 35 years. Um, and of course, I usually have to try out stuff for a long time before I can say like, yes, I think you should get it. It's amazing or whatever. So this is one of their newer products. It's called the Lumi Spa. Similar to another product out there, Clarisonic. I have pretty sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with all my skincare. Uh, with the Clarisonic, I couldn't use that. I had purging, which of course happens when you do the Clarisonic, your skin breaks out. Mine just kept breaking out and flipping out. It couldn't take the whole entire Clarisonic experience, but it just not would not stop. And I had constant breakouts, which of course, anytime you do something like this, there's going to be some kind of purging in your skin. Um, but this one hasn't caused like giant zits and stuff everywhere. Um, it has a head that is embedded with micro silver, so it helps fight the bacteria that can be trapped in the heads of those products that are on the market. So all you have to do, and it's silicone, and all you have to do is rinse it with warm water and it cleans off and that is waterproof. You can take it in the shower, but it does do four separate um, areas. I can see it when I dim the light, it's blinking. So it does four separate quadrants to go with, you know, your four separate parts of your face. So your uh, forehead, chin, and then both sides of your face. It does like kind of pulsate when it's ready to switch um, the, to the next section. And then one head goes one way and the middle head goes another way. So I did a test on it where I did normally for my skincare I would do a it cosmetics bye-bye um, makeup and then I would do purity from philosophy's cleanser and then hi my toners and my moisturizers and then I thought my skin was clean I incorporated this into my routine and did this after I did the philosophy with the cleanser that it comes with um, or that the new skin has and it's a Lumi spa treatment cleanser there was so much gunk that came off my skin i was horrified that i was leaving like that much of it in on my face at night and then just like slathering over with moisturizers and stuff 
Ugh. So this I think has been a complete game changer in my skin. It's supposed to help reduce pore size, which I completely can say yes it has. If you know somebody that sells these, I mean hi, I sell them. I'll leave the link below. But if you have other friends that have been talking about this or if you've seen it on in a magazine because I know that they've been in um, Allure magazine and that kind of stuff, it's legit. It's a legit product. I've tested the crap out of it. And I'm not just saying it because I sell it. I really believe in the product because I try and I've used it and I continue to use it. But the cleansers, they come in um, normal to combo, uh, oily, dry, and then sensitive. So uh, they're a great cleanser too. They, um, they also have a different treatment head that once your skin adapts to it and you've been using it for f probably like four or five months, you can switch to the firm head and that is supposed to give even better results. Oh! So check it out. Up. We have hair care products. So um, I have a couple hair care things that are my current favorites, but they've been my favorites. Um, maybe one is new, but I mean, they're always going to be my favorites, I think, unless I incorporate something else. First up is the 7 Second Conditioning um, Leave-In Spray by Unite. Um, this product is amazing. So once my hair I get out of the shower, I usually will spray this in, you, normally on my ends to help save my ends and make them as healthy as possible and make my hair, so I'm not, I mean, I have curly hair, so I don't want to be raking it in. Nourishes and fortifies with a perfect balance of light protein and moisturizers, and it's uh, a must for chemically treated hair and as a UV and thermal protector for all. So I can, it has a really good scent too. So this one is yes, yes to unite. Next then what I follow with is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus uh, Hold and Shine Moisture Spray. This is for thick and curly hair, anti-frizz, moisture and shine. If I don't use this in my hair, every time I wash my hair, my hair is, is a big mess, but this is great. It smells like coconut, of course, because it's coconut and hibiscus. But it's a really nice spray. Um, their their stuff doesn't have sulfates, parabens, anything horrible. It is all like kind of a natural product. Um, no animal testing as well. So this is amazing. I got this off Amazon. Next one is a kind of a little bit expensive. It's by Davines. It's called Oi All in One Milk um, with Raku Oil, and it's a multi-benefit beauty treatment. So this smells. So so what I do is I just take this and I spray it on the ends of my hair as well um, after the coconut and hibiscus and I'll just go through and spray all my whole entire ends um, because usually they get dry and especially when you're doing all highlights and stuff in your hair you want to be able to put that moisture back in it and keep it hydrated because little highlights and stuff torture your hair but we love them I know and then I think oh, this stuff Orbe will be my favorite forever. It's like there's unicorn tears that is in that is in this product. It's a dry texturizing spray. It smells so good. So you just will take like a piece of your hair and spray it and it just you can even like separate your hair and spray it in there and let it dry a little bit and then run your fingers through it and it will give you more volume. Um, I remember when I got a little bottle of this and we had a um, business meeting with all of our reps and my friend Elizabeth came out and she's probably watching this um, and we I had a little tiny bottle that I tried and it was so expensive but I said here try this and we were addicted to it and freaking out the whole entire weekend and then when I saw the price of the big one I don't even want to say it I think it's $45 and you're probably thinking oh my god and you get 300 ml so 8.5 ounces but this lasts a pretty long time it is so worth it so if you can splurge on something um, do it I have other texturizing sprays but I don't think anything comes close to this product okay 
So that is it for my current favorites. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below of what your favorites are. I love to find out new things to try. I've, I, I've said this in my other videos. I love makeup, I love skincare, I love hair products. So let me know what your current favorites are. And if you have anything that you would like to see video wise in the future for me, leave that below too. But I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.